More simple food, folks. This one comes from Lancashire, Sharon. Namely, Coronation Street. What is it, Sharon? Hot pot. A Lancashire hot pot, just like Betty used to make in the old-fashioned Coronation Street. Right, well, those of you who used to watch Coronation Street, which used to be a regular institution back in the UK in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, it's still on now, folks, isn't it? It is, it's still going We strong. don't watch it anymore. It's all changed now, but that's yeah. another story. And back then, one of the famous dishes that was in there was the Lancashire Hot Pot. Oh, it's Betty's Hot Pot. Betty's Hot Pot. Now, it is a fictional show. There is a thing called... Lancashire hot pot, which we're going to be making today. Apparently, it's very, very tasty. We've never actually had it, Sharon, have we? No, lamb let, hot pot. Let alone cooked it. So let's have a look at the ingredients and then we'll get going. Here are the ingredients to our Lancaster hot pot. 400 grams of diced lamb, two medium white onions, three carrots, 300 milliliters of lamb stock, a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme, a quarter of a teaspoon of rosemary, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce, three medium potatoes, salt and pepper. Right, okay then, so this is our Kasori pressure cooker, which you absolutely love, Sharon, don't I you? I do, I love this, yep. So we're gonna brown the meat off first. This is lamb. Now lamb, as you know, folks, is quite dear. Oh, we're gonna cook this on, baby. Uh, I'm on the saute. Right, so you just hit the saute button. And it's just preheating at the it's moment. It's just preheating, yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna add oil, because I've got fat on it, so I think we'll be all right there. Yeah. So we're gonna just wait until that comes up to temperature because when you put the meat in, it will then sear. Okay, folks, so as you can see there, the preheating's now done, so this thing's now hot. So we can drop that lamb in there and Sharon's just gonna give it a little stir around, just to give it a little saute till it browns it off. So we're gonna do that. Right, so we've just been sauteing that for about three minutes, and as you can see, it's uh, browning off nicely there. And can you see the liquid that's come out of that already, Sharon? A lot, isn't it? Yep. I'm so glad that... I never put no oil in. Yeah, we didn't put any oil in there, but there's no. lots of liquid coming out there. There you go, look. As you can see, look at that, look. Anyway, you're going to whack the um, onions in now. Yep. Now, these are quite thick and chunkily cut. It's not fine cut, this is it. No, not when you have a, like, a stew and yeah. a hot pot. So she's put them in there, and we're just going to stir them through. And it's basically, yet again, Sharon, Another one pot wonder. I love these one pot You haven't got to be a chef to do this sort no. of stuff, folks. Just follow our simple procedures and you should be able to reproduce exactly the same as what we're going to do, even though we've never done it before, Sharon. I've never done it before, so this is the first for me. Right, where else you put it in there? We'll have then? the carrots next. Again, chunkily cut the carrots, folks, as you can see. This is enough for two people, this amount we're doing. Yeah. Ideal for husband and wife, Sharon. That's me and you, baby. Yeah. I'll have the herbs now, please. So we've measured out our herb just on a little plate there, and I'm going to take part now, shall we? Watch. Tip. Whoa, well done. So that's gone in. And we're also going to go in with the Worcester sauce. Yep. Just drop it in, folks, look. It's all that simple, look. So it's smelling really nice now. Of course it is. Now, we've got this, which we've never used before. And the only reason we bought this is because they do lamb stock cubes, Sharon, don't they? Mm. But we find them very hard to get hold of. But while we was in our butchers, he had this on the shelf. And we had a little look on the back of it. And although it was quite dear, there are none of them nasty preservatives or nothing no. like that in there. So that's the reason why we chose this. So it is proper lamb stock and it smells fantastic. Yep. And we only need uh, 300 millilitres yep. of this. So Sharon's just going to pour all that in now. And there's 200 millilitres left in that can. And we're going to give that to the dog, Sharon, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to make them some more fresh gravy with their meat tonight. Right, so basically, apart from the salt and pepper, which you're going to put in now. Yep. Let's pass you the pepper. Put a good grind of pepper in, folks. You want to really taste it. This is black pepper we're using here. So put plenty in. Nothing worse than the bland stew, Sharon. And then we'll put loads of white pepper when we eat it. <laughs> we will do it. That's just we love fun. white pepper. Plenty of Himalayan pink salt here as well, folks. This one is one of the ones like uh, all the other Ooh. granulated salts, the, uh, the, the the rock salt driver. They got plenty of minerals in this apparently. So I see this put... needs topping up. Yeah, we're going to put that put that in there like that. Just give it a stir. And now. That's all we need to do for this at this stage of the game, Sharon. So we're going to cancel that, aren't we? And then we're going to put it onto pressure. So she's taking it off a saute. We're lining our lids up, locking it on, and then we're going to just turn on the pressure cook function. 
And what, how, how long are you going to cook this for? 20 then. Like we've done the beef stew, wasn't it? 20. Yeah, we've done 20 minutes for the beef stew. We're going to treat this pretty similar. And the yeah. beef stew, Sharon, fell apart, didn't it? Yeah. It's on high pressure. We take there. the keep warm off. And we're going to take the keep warm off because we'll be in the kitchen when, it, when we need to vent it. So we'll do it ourselves. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. At this stage of the game, Sharon, that only took minutes, didn't it? A few minutes. And in a minute, I will parboil my potatoes so we'll be able to slice them up to lay across the top. Yep. And we're going to be cooking it in that this one. bowl here. That's enough for two. That's a, a is it an eight, eight inch dish, isn't it? I think we Doesn't said last yeah, time. Yeah, something like that. Yes, it was. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah. And uh, that's quite a deep one. But we're going yeah. to be putting that in our new oven over there, which if you've watched our previous yeah, videos. Lovely. You would have seen it. This is it over here. And all it is, Shell. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Fits in there a treat look, with plenty of room. Oh, there you go. Look you at like. that. Look, goes look, in there with treat. Look. look at that. Yeah. And the great thing is, is you're not diving into an air fryer. You just pull the tray out, Shell. Yeah, you that, that is a nice thing. And, and that you, you can keep an eye on it all the time. It's taking as well. the place, Sharon, of that big old thing down there, which yeah. we don't use anymore. It takes a lot of time to heat up. It's got a bigger element. Yeah. This thing's only got an 1800 watt loading on it. And Isn't it's it lovely looking? Dual element, Sharon, top and bottom. I love top it. and bottom. I'm anyway. like a sorry queen. Of course you are. Right, how long has this been now? Uh, about 20 minutes. And we've let it do a natural release, haven't we? I don't we? think it's finished but fully. It's not fully finished yet, so we're just going to release the last little bit of pressure. There we go, that's just dropped down now. So this is the first time we're looking into it, folks. And there you go, that's our... They're them, we're hoping them carrots are going to be all cooked, shall, aren't we? Do you want to get your knife? Yeah. Oh, I can smell oh, that, shall. In I fact, it's just broke under my thing there. No. Has it? So it's everything's like, that's cooked. A yeah, look at that, it just broke straight through that, folks. The liquor's a bit thin, but we can thicken that well, with no, a bit I'm of arrowroot. I'm going to get my arrowroot out. Yeah, so do you want to do that now? I will do. Right, so we've just got some water here, folks, and all we're going to do is put some arrowroot. Very similar to cornflour, shall isn't it? But we don't use cornflour, we mm. prefer arrowroot. And we're just going to mix that in to some water. If you've watched our beef casserole video, you'd actually see this as well, that we've done it to thicken the juice up there. And as Sharon says, we can just put this on the... Uh, just quickly put it on the sauté. Okay, cancel that one. Cancel that one. We'll just put it on the sauté cooking, just to start it going. The reason being is that uh, you need hot liquor, and we've left this to stand for a bit. So Sharon's just going to stir that around and actually add now that arrowroot, and we're just going to add this arrowroot now to the boiling pot. And can you see that's thickening up already, folks? Look at that, look. That's a lot more like it. Mm. And that's the beauty of this arrowroot. Maybe a little bit more, Sharon? Yeah. That's it, that should probably be enough now. That'll thicken that juice up lovely. You must add it while it's hot, this. Yep, it's got to be hot. So yeah. that's why we put it back on, on the saute setting, folks, just to make it bubble, which it is, and then the arrowroot does its stuff. And can you see how that's thickened up lovely yeah. now? Look at that, look. So don't be frightened to pour the arrowroot in. It won't actually add no flavour. No. Doesn't take nothing it. away. And that's lovely now. Look at that, folks. Look at that, look. Oh, yeah. Superb, baby. That's fantastic, Sharon. I'm just going to leave that bubbling and I'm now going to slice, or oh, clear this up and slice my potatoes. Right, so you've basically peeled and parboiled your yeah. potatoes, Sharon, just so that they've got a bit of resistance still, folks. Now, as you can see, she's cutting them in probably about half a centimetre strips. You don't want them too thin. You don't want them to be like crisps. So just cut them about half a centimetre, I suppose, isn't it, Sharon? Mm. Because these are going to be cooked on top of your hot pot. Right, so that's it. Now all we're going to do is decant. Look how look at that, folks. Look how lovely that's thickened up. Look. It smells lovely. I don't want to taste that lamb until I actually get it in the uh, hot pot shell. I know it's going to be great. Let's get that out of there for you. Right, so we're just removing our bowl now. And Sharon's got a ladle. I'm going to try and tip it in. So I've oh, got yeah? My, yeah, oh, okay. so I've got good go gloves here. So she's got some... Uh, gloves here, folks. I'll try and up it out, shall I? There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. That's so good. Okay, baby, that do you? Okay. Yep. Look at that. Just evenly space out the uh, the lamb and the vegetables. And all she's going to do now is literally just lay on top these 
sliced parboiled potatoes all over the top of the hot pot and then we'll put it in our kasori mini oven which you can probably do this in the standard air fryer as well yeah just to cook off and brown them potatoes off and there you go that's our lancashire hot pot actually done folks right so what you're doing now just, just drizzling, drizzling with a bit of oil yeah. drizzling a little bit of olive oil over the top just to help them uh, crisp up folks right so we're going to get that now folks and plonk that into our lovely little new 12 litre air fryer mini oven we've just put that on the level it doesn't really matter it's on level three you've got the element below and the element above as well so and all we're going to do shall is go on the air fryer setting you're going to take it down to 180 and we'll try 15 minutes and we're going to try it for 15 minutes folks and the beauty of this is is that it's going to pre it will do ah. pre but you can just press the pre button again if you don't want to do the preheat and that will take off the preheat and we're going to go. cook that now for 15 minutes oh so we see the potatoes are golden brown yeah that's all you're really waiting for everything else is cooked of course it is fantastic right here we go folks it's Probably got a little drop too much liquid in it, but we're not worried about that show, are we? No, because I'm not making gravy. <laughs> so that's how that's it, folks. And she's also cooked up some uh, veg for us as well. Let's have a closer look at it. Right, come on in, baby. Get it dished out. Let's have a look here. Oh, look at that. That lovely gravy it's got there, folks. Look at that, look good. You can really put some gravy in there, shall Don't be frightened. I do like a bit of gravy, and I'll tell you what, I would also have some bread and butter with that as well. Look at Oops. that, look. Superb. That lamb looks really tender, shall and that gravy looks perfect. Nice. Look at that. That is too hearty portions of food which smells, smells absolutely fantastic you can really smell that thyme and that rosemary oh. can't you i'm gonna let sharon go first right she's gone straight in for the lamb she's gone back to the full metal jacket sharon <laughs> go on in. in you go baby in your own time i know it's hot but we need to know what it's like we've never had it before that lamb is very tender. Is it? Mm. And that was how many minutes in the pressure cooker? 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And the flavours of them herbs are really coming through. In it's fact, lovely. if we look closely on the top of your potatoes mm. there, where you've poured the gravy over the top, I can see the little splatters of rosemary and thyme on there, Sharon. Everything is cooked to perfection once again. It's a dinner I'll be doing again, that's for sure. Can very, I, very simple. Can I have a go, Sharon? Of course you can. Come round here. Right, I'm not going to be greedy, shall I? I won't eat yours as well. Let's put yours to the side. I'm looking at this now, Sharon, and straight down here, baby, look. I can see everything is there, wait, it's like a party. It's like a vegetable party and they've invited me well, along. shut up and try it. <laughs> I want to try that lamb first of all. I want to see how well cooked that is. And just to show the people first of all, look how well cooked that is. Cool, that is hot, Sharon, isn't it? Mm. Now look. That's why it was sent to me in first. Watch this, folks, look. Oh, oh, it's hot. That really is up. That fell apart, folks. That is superb. I'm gonna taste it now, just on its own. It's just broke away, folks. It's broke up my mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sharon. Now, it's gonna be very hard to go full metal jacket here, folks, because it is so hot. But I'm gonna get a bit of carrot, a bit of greenery on there. A bit of that lamb as well. Here we go, come on. I've dropped it all, Cheryl. It's so tender, it's all falling apart, look. I should have given you a spoon. I know, yeah. Get me a spoon, Cheryl. Get me a spoon. You could have used the ladle. Eating one of these, folks. A spoon is the way to go. I'm messing about with a fork there. I should have known better, Cheryl. You haven't got a brussel on there. I'll, get, I'll get one jacket. on there, don't worry. I want to go full metal jacket. I'm going to take it from around the edge, actually, Cheryl. Now that is a big hearty mouthful, folks. Gobful. <laughs> I'm going to blow it because it is hot. And I'm going in full metal jacket. Everything's on there. Oh. 
Oh. When that juice comes through, Sharon, on them herbs, that is a taste sensation, folks. Again, all home cooked. No preservatives, no nothing like that in there. This is absolutely superb. Mm. Comfort food. And that meat, that lamb. I love lamb. Drowning by yourself. I love beef. I love all I love everything. <laughs> if you want the top potatoes, crust it off a bit more. Where they're, they're I've seen them before where they go crust, really crusty. Mm. Just put it in for a bit longer. And cut them thinner. Cut them thinner and, and pump the temperature up to about 205. And do that for about five to eight minutes. And that will crust them up lovely. And this is my intake on lamb hot pot. Yeah, we've never done it before, folks. So Not my intake. those of you traditionalists out there who've probably cooked this. Yeah, you're going to, this shouldn't be an issue. You should have done this. You should have done This is my way. And I would happily eat that, which I'm going to do very, very shortly. I'd like to. So there you go, folks. The pressure cooker, the Kasori pressure cooker, is really turning out to be a very useful tool mm. for tenderizing meat and cooking meat in a very short time. And using that little mini air fryer oven, which we've only just got hold of, has made getting it in and out of the oven a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. And also having the glass door on there as well, where you can look through and see uh, exactly what's happening without needing to open the door up. Absolutely fantastic. You happy with it? I'm very happy. And don't forget, folks, do check out our other videos and also have a little binge watch. And do check out our Sunday vlog as well. Make this, this is lovely. Yeah, um, we've never had it before. We could have crusted it up a little bit more on the top with the potatoes. We probably made a bit too much liquor, but that's not an issue. But a lot of that liquor come from the juices as well, so. Yeah, so don't worry about that. And don't forget, you can also do it in single portion ramekins as well. Yeah. If you've got a smaller air fryer, no worries about that. We've actually got them little single, yeah. like we used to see on Coronation Street, and the little, little oval hot pots, weren't they? Yeah. Hot pot ramekins, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that one, folks. We're going to go off now and eat this, and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now. And enjoy.